Hey guys, Shresha Midget here. So I'm going to be doing a quick video on the K&S adjustable gas piston for an AK. Now the reason why I'm making this video is because I have not seen a single video on YouTube on the M85 in particular. And this thing is very overgassed. So the shorter the barrel, typically the more overgassed they are. Actually, the 16-inch version of this gun actually has a, I think it's a three-point adjustable gas piston. It's like low, medium, and high, and low would be used for suppressor. And then I think they said you needed to turn it on the high setting, shoot a couple hundred rounds to break it in. Well, this has no adjustability whatsoever, so it is naturally overgassed with it being short so I've had about 2,000 rounds to this gun so far over the past year, and it shoots great. I do have malfunctions every now and again where it, it'll the bolt will stick right here, and the case will be like pointed this way and smashed up against the trunnion and the bolt carrier because the bolt carrier velocity is so fast that it can't kick the casing out, especially it does that with higher velocity, you know, 5.56 stuff. And that's what I have this gun uh, sighted in for. So I needed the adjustable gas piston, but there's no YouTube videos of somebody doing this on a 5.56 version, just 7.62s. Uh, some of the 7.62s are also overgassed, even the longer barreled versions. I've shot, you know, a, a friend's Palmetto State AK. It's definitely overgassed. It punches you in the shoulder. So long story short, I just wanted to change this. So I already took the old piston off because YouTube is a bit uh, censorious, if you will when it comes to modification on firearms. So I did it ahead of time. I, I was bored at the time. I just was like, I'll just go ahead and, you know, do it. So I, I'm prepared for the new piston once it gets here. So this is the bolt carrier without it. Of course, it's not on there. So here's the original one. I had actually shot about 200 rounds to this gun. Didn't clean it because I knew I was going to shoot it again. So to get the pin out, there are, you know, some uh, YouTube videos that will show you how to do it. The best way that I've found is you use a drill. Well, first of all, you use a punch. The punch is used to basically score the end because this isn't a legit pin. You can't pop it out. It's actually like, I don't know what they call this, almost like a rivet, you know, where they will mangle the end so it doesn't go in or out. So what I did is I used a punch and scored the end of it so that I could get my drill bit on it, on there. Hopefully that makes sense because basically what was happening, if you didn't score it, when you were trying to drill it, you know, you can see some scuffs there because the drill bit was not actually going straight. It was skipping off because it's round, you know, it was going low, it was going high. So yeah, I had to pound the, um, I used a small punch and a big hammer and a vice and basically I just scored the end of it which you can't see because obviously i've drilled through it just so that this could lock into place and then you know i would drill down and then that's what you see there so i drilled it enough and then used the punch to punch it out the rest of the way it's really not that hard i thought it was going to be harder it really wasn't so that's trash of course <laughs> All right, so I just got back from shooting this thing. I need to get it clean because it has had almost 400 rounds through it without cleaning. So I actually turned the gas completely off on the piston. Now that was a little bit unexpected because most people were saying that you'd have, have to have it between 15 and 25 clicks for it to function. This had, had to be shut off completely. Now, I ha have not seen specifically a YouTube video of somebody talking about this gun in particular, the uh, pistol version, 10-inch. Now, they do make a rifle version of this, and I believe it has three positions on the gas. You can It's adjustable gas, and it's got three positions. This has none. It's just overgassed out of the box. Very overgassed. So, I have it set on zero, and I'm actually pretty happy with the cycle speed of it so literally it's turned down completely like it is off and that's where it works fine now i shot a couple different types of uh, ammunition just to make sure so i shot some steel case barnall this stuff is considered underpowered it has less velocity it cycled 40 rounds of that so two boxes and then i shot 60 rounds of this pmc x tac m855 
So that is full power 5.56. Five, this stuff is just 223 lower velocity. This stuff is probably close to 2600 out of this 10 inch, and this is like 2450 probably. So it functioned just fine. It didn't have a single malfunction even when it was cut off completely. I had it at 10 and it was cycling maybe just like 5% less uh, actual cycle speed than what it was before. And then when I cut it down to zero, I, I would say it's probably 20 or 30% less, probably 30% less in cycle speed. So felt recoil, it's not as snappy. It still recoils the same because it's the same cartridge. You're not changing the actual um, mechanism, the uh, cartridge that it's firing. But you're just slowing the bolt down by providing it with less gas. And in turn, the bolt's cycle speed is slower. So you can tell just by perception firing it, you can actually just feel it straight up. And that's why I say maybe 20 to 30% slower cycle speed is what I would say. And so I'm happy with that. Um, it probably could go a little bit lower and still work, but again, that is the lowest it will go. So if anybody does have this gun, one of the pistols, I do recommend getting the adjustable gas piston by KNS. But do keep in mind, you'll probably need to run it between zero and maybe up to ten. But I have it at zero and it cycled 100%. And uh, yeah, so I can't go any lower than that. Of course, it is where it is. But I'm happy with it. It was definitely well worth the money. I don't uh, regret buying it considering, like I said, it did reduce the the overall cycle speed. We could shoot our stuff. It's just if you...